Hey everyone, welcome back to lesson six of Tana Fundamentals. And in this lesson, we're going to take everything we've learned over the last couple of lessons and package it into one cohesive whole. We're going to kind of finalize our reading workflow using super tags, live searches, and everything else we've covered so far. So let's get into it. Here we are back in Tana. And so far, we haven't really focused on where we would want to have a full workflow or whatever. Um, instead, we did it kind of more in an ad hoc fashion. So um, to, to fix that, let's get back up here to our root node and set up our workflow um, nicely. So getting rid of what we did before, we want a reading dashboard, right? So I'm going to look for uh, books here and I'm going to call this reading dashboard. And as you see here on the left side in the sidebar, we now have a reading dashboard. I like for the things in I, I put in the uh, left sidebar, I like starting them with an emoji to have a little bit of a visual reference, but that's just um, that's just me. Now, what we're going to do is we want a live search that looks for that, that gives us the Kanban board view of the reading status, right? So let's look for nodes with a tag book as list for now. And as a view, we take cards and as a group, we use reading status. Now the reading status is not set for American Sphinx. So let me um, move that here to, to read and let me get rid of that column. And now we have to read, reading and read as statuses. Now as a second thing that we want, first let me fix this um, reading status. Now as a second thing that we want to have, we want to have some sort of view that shows us everything we've read as a table, right? So again, command K for the command prompt, find nodes with tag book as list for now. Um, books I've read and let's um, show this as a table and we don't want to see the reading status because we're going to create a search that gives us only the books we have read. Now, so far we've treated searches as this thing that can only show things that have a tag. Searches can do much more. And in this lesson, we can't cover everything they can do. But I want to show you how to do filters in the search itself and not on the results, right? So bringing the reading status back, of course, I could go in here and say, I want reading status uh, read, right? That would uh, filter the results table, that would be fine. What I want in this case though, is I want to have a search that only returns things that I've ever read. So clear filters um, and display, I don't want the reading status. And now I'm going to click on the live query button here. And here is where I can narrow down and focus much more into what the search should do. Right now you see, it finds items with the tag book, right? Um, and here I'm going to add things to find only those with the reading status of red. How do we do this? I tap enter and I get a new bullet and here I type the larger than sign and in that field, I'm going to type reading status. It gives me the reading status field that exists in book. And here I now get the drop down where I can say only those where the reading status is read. Now I click run once and you see it turns the results into only those where the reading status is 
read. I can also search for books that I have read or that I'm still reading. To do this, let me get rid of this node and add an or node here. So that means Tana is going to search for books that for nodes that are tagged as books and that have one of the conditions here in this or block that got um, added. And so let's do this. I'm going again type the larger than sign and reading status. I'm going to set this to red. And here I'm going to set reading status again and reading. And here I don't want to read but but read, right? And now if I click um, run once or done, it's going to add the two books where the reading status is reading and not just the two where it is read, right? That's quite powerful. And you can nest and do this as you like. I could, for example, instead of this or tag, say books where the reading status is not, as we have here, um, to read. That would return substantially the same list. Um, it's just different ways in which you can specify this. Before we dive deeper into things you can do with the uh, live query definitions here, let's quickly turn this into an actual nice dashboard by making this a tabbed view. To do this, what at the time of filming you need to do is you go to the preferences up here and go to Tana Labs and select tabs view. That gives you the view option of tabs and not just lists, columns, cards, and tables. Tana Labs means it's kind of still in development, but in my experience, it's super stable. So don't worry about it. You can absolutely enable this feature. And now we go here, uh, focus into the reading dashboard and say view as tabs. And that turns the reading status into a tab where I can see, okay, um, what's the reading status of these things, books I've read turns out to be this live query, right? Makes for a really nice dashboard in my opinion. So use tab view for that purpose. To show you a little bit more about what you can do with live searches and the things we've added through super tags, um, let's return to our table uh, in search of US presidents. So let's go to the uh, daily node today and find nodes with tag US president. And what happens if we want to show presidents that assumed office after the end of the American Civil War, for example? Let's rename it like this, US presidents after American Civil War. And let's turn it into a table. We don't need their uh, birthdays. Let's get rid of that. And so we have when they assumed office, right? And if we click on live query now, we can look for a greater than of a date, for example. So I'm going to type the greater than sign and type GT. In the menu that pops up, I get a system field that will return true for values greater than the provided field value. So we select this and then say, again, larger than sign to get a field assumed office. And then here we type at May 26th, 1865, right? And now if I click run once, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Abe Lincoln disappear because they assumed office before 1865 um, and the end of the American Civil War. You could of course also search across multiple fields, right? So you could search for Democrat presidents after the end of the American Civil War if we had a column um, for that. So if we add a column here that says party and we add re 
Republican and Truman was a Democrat and uh, John F. Kennedy was a Democrat and we go to the live query and say fields where party is Democrat and now uh, Teddy Roosevelt uh, disappears, right? So you have a lot of powerful ways of narrowing down your search depending on what you are looking for. Now, finally, something that I find really useful is adding default searches to a super tag. So authors have books, right? So it might be useful to know which books any given author has written uh, when we are on their page, right? So let's go to an author. So David McAuliffe, we have here appears as author in, that's nice. Um, but if we want to have chain searches, so a only show me the books that person has written on a certain topic or whatever, um, we can add this here and we can add this to um, the author tag. So for authors, here we can say in the configuration panel for the super tag, command K, find nodes with tag book as list. Now that returns all the books um, we have in our graph. But what we can do is we can say find items with book and where the field author is parent. And now if we do this, what happens here is we get a search node, list of nodes tagged book, and David McCullough is the author for Truman, right? And now if I go to, let me look at all the authors, Ron Chernow, list of nodes tagged book, he is listed here as the author for Washington Alive, right? So this means that you have this information available even if you have somewhere just a reference to the author and you don't need to go there and look in the references here, but you can pull it and put it anywhere, right? And so this becomes really interesting for projects, for example, because you can show all the tasks that are related to a given project, for example. Or an organization can show all the employees belonging to that organization. So over the last couple of videos, we've covered a lot of ground, right? We've talked about creating nodes, linking them, embedding them, referencing them. Um, we've talked about tags and turning normal tags into super tags. The tags model is a relationships between the node and the tag that is applied to the node. We've talked about fields and how they give you has a relationships, books have authors, for example. We talked about live searches and how you can use these live searches to not just find things, but actually create powerful workflows with them as we had in our reading workflow that showed us um, the reading status and the Kanban board where we could um, move things between reading statuses. Um, and we've talked about using these live searches, generally embedding them in the default content as we did in this lesson. And I think now you have not just a really good overview of what Tana's fundamental features are, but I think you're now ready to really go out and explore and make Tana your own. I'm going to record more videos on Tana here. I'm going to link on my to my newest video. So if you want to learn more, subscribe to this channel, um, click the subscribe bell and um, we'll see each other in the next and future videos. Until then, have a good one. Uh, it's been really fun and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.